When you're gluing back in a chip or patching a hole with a bigger piece or gluing it, reattaching a piece of stone, and it's a smaller piece, maybe from three to six inches, you're gonna to wanna to use probably our ultimate buff color. It's a adhesive, it's UV stable. It'll set up really quick so you can keep moving along. If uh, you're doing a larger area, you can use a nozzle. It'll come fully mixed out of the tip. But in this small little area, I recommend just punching it out onto a piece of cardboard. These tubes, this two-part system, goes right in a standard caulk gun. First, you have to remove the tip on it. As you can see, you have both parts in there, A and B. A is the colored part of the system. Simply put it in a caulk gun. Dispense. For this, you're not gonna need much material at all. That's what's the beauty of having a caulk gun like this. You can recap it, clean off the tip here, put the cap back on, and you can store it for another day. So simply just mix this up. Simply mix this for 20 to 30 seconds. It is a faster setting system, so you're gonna have to move quick, but it works great for small applications like this. So, Simply take your piece of stone that's chipped off, butter the back of it, and press it into place. Any excess stuff can be sanded off afterwards, but since this is a, a hole that may chip out at some other point, What's always nice to do is if you're running a threaded rod through here or some piping, say for some stairwells, simply butter a little bit, little bit of this material around the edge to reinforce the top chip area, leaving enough room to put your material, meaning your piping, or or in this case, probably some wiring through the hole there. This will support it, very nice. If you wanna sand down any excess resin around the edges here, we recommend using a flap pad. It's an 80 grit flap pad. You can see they're overlapping, so it's not gonna leave pad marks on the stone. So generally just So now it's all flush. So now what we can come back with, clean this off, and then uh, I'll show putting the HRM in. For patching around the whole area and any little pits and spalls that are happening there, we recommend the HRM product. Now this is a um, our silver buff. It's recommended for a lot of the Indiana material and it matches a lot of the Texas stone uh, systems. So I just took a little bit of the powder in a cup here the hardener is a latex binder, as you can see here. Simply just, now you can add more powder if needed, if it's too soupy for you. But just start mixing it. For mixing the small little chip areas, you don't need a lot of material. You don't need a lot of the big tooling, tools. So simply mix it up to a mortar consistency like this. And it, since it is, a, it will dry out a lot lighter. We do have color chips that you can match it up with. Simply push it into place. What you wanna do is keep it slightly overfilled in any of the spall areas. So you can use any tool you want. For this small area, I'm just using a razor blade. So you wanna just keep it slightly above the surface. Just so if that, if you're really smooth stones, you may want to sand it with that 80 grit flat pad. Or um, what you might want to do is after 15, 20 minutes, this will start hardening up and lightening up so you can scrape it a little bit flusher. Once it sets off up for about 15, 20 minutes, you can see it's hard and it just granularly comes off. So you just take a straight edge or like I'm doing here with a razor blade 
and you can get it nice and flush. There's no sanding to the surface, really. Here we are the next day. It's dried out a little, as you can see, your patch area. Now this can be...